Our guest is a young man who is a journalist. He's uh, uh, new to the family of Switch TV and uh, we love him. What you did not know about this gentleman is he is a hairdresser and a beautician when he is not here reading the news for you. <laughs> Emmanuel Terrell, welcome to the show. Yay! So do you think you and your Leana and I met again as well? Kwa wala mba wanajua, wakati moja ukingia garegea maswala ya kutengen za nyuele ususi na ulimbuende wanasema hivyo wa suwa hili. Wait, 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 what? Hold up! Ulimbuwe what? Ni ususi na ulimbuende, dressing and beauty. Sasa ukije hapa, watu wanatafta kitu na itua dread lakini sasa si original si kama zangu yeah. zile original wait, wait i mean zangu nilinunua ehe so ah, kuna, si kama zangu wewe inakuja wewe. inakuja kundi mbili hivi ya tatu uh -huh. kusema kweli kuna dread ya kweli yes. alafu kuna hii soft dreads yenye watu yes. weka alafu vile vile kuna moja sasa tunaita raffian hiyo ilitoka jamaica rastafari so, hiyo ni nywele unatupigia so. story hivi <laughs> about you let me cap zetu ziko sawa bitisha like iko fit kabisa uh, kwanza kwanza mara ya kwanza nikuafikiria siku moja nataka sana kukaribia nikutane na watu wa chat spot nione uh, before you up. came eh uh, sasa ndio hii mungu mkubwa Yay. hello kizungu utaongea leo ama swahili kidogo swaili. kidogo tu kiingereza pia si mbaya uh, tusitue tusitue toxicity kwanza nilikuwa hapo hapo kando nikasikiza toxicity yeah. kaanza kufikiria kwani nilienda shule gani kiingereza pia si juu <laughs> but umeelewa ni nini uh, eh so yeah, na to enjoy so what do you too. think about our life spot top topic for today uh, tunaona ki watu wanatuma message na ni refresh kuhusiana na swala hili la watu ku, ku kwa mfano mtoto mdogo anakuwa yes inaanza biblia kusema kwa mimi mkristo anapenda Mungu eh, kwa biblia unasikiza kwamba kulikuwa na bingwa moja alipewa jina na jina lake lilikuwa linadhihirisha kitu fulani katika maisha yake hivyo yeah. basi hata sisi wazazi tukiwa wakubwa wakati huo kupata ku, kuoa ama umeoa na binti uh, tayari amepata mtoto amepakata tayari nafao mwenyewe umpatie jina ambalo linakwenda sawa na bahati katika maisha yake kwa mfano yeah. mpatia nuru jina lake bahati jina la pili itakwenda sawa kwa sababu unatarajia kwamba baadaye yule mtu atakwenda na jina lake atakapozikwa aziko pazuri kwa sababu ya kitu kimoja kwamba jina lilikuwa sawa Ah, wow, tere wow. demeni. Tueleze. Mm. Tu, tu, tupeleke pale nyuma kidogo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know this is where you're going to win if I try to go yeah. to a Hapo ndio unataka kunishindia. So ndakaa tu kwa Kiswahili ya kawaida. Uh -huh. Tere kijana mdogo walikuwa wanataka kufanya kazi ya journalism mm. ama ilikuwa vipi? Uh, nikiwa darasa la tano nakumbuka vizuri sana kulikuwa mtangazaji mkubwa wakati ule mkongo wa KBC anaitwa Bahati Mohsin. Badi Mohsin alikuwa mtangazaji mzuri sasa nimekwenda kuchungulia kwa jirani yeye alikuwa yeah. na TV yeah. uh, sitataja jina lake hapa ilikuwa black and white yes. wakati huo so nachungulia kwa bahati mbaya kaptura yangu ilikuwa ime, imechanika <laughs> miraruka kusema huko <laughs> sana chungulia dirishani nikasikia na ninyukua ku, kuchuna unasema kuchuna kwa yeah, swahili yeah. kawaida so yule bingwa akaninyukua kugeuka alikuwa ananikataza ni niendelee kumuona Badi Mohsin kwa hasira nikawa nime na kile kila kitu baada ya na alikuwa amefanya nikakwenda kwa mamangu nikakariri yale yote ambayo baada ya Muksi na amesema mamangu akanifukuza kwa sababu ananiambia Kiswahili natusumbua mimi kwa day school eh, Una, nyumbani ni wapi kwetu ni Bomet na hii Kiswahili hii <laughs> Kiswahili hii <laughs> Kiswahili toka tu hapa eh, wala mataji eh, kwetu hatusemi lakini tunasema lakini Eh, lakini eh, lakini wala eh, eh, hiyo ndio tunasema Kiswahili yeah. uh, ki, si kizuri sana lakini But tuna... class five after kuona eh, baada ya baada kuona badi nikakariri mamangu akamfukuza lakini baadaye nikashikilia kikiki uh, baada ya wiki moja uh -huh. yule mbunge wakati huo alikuwa anaitwa Sotet uh -huh. uh, uh, alikuwa jina rasmi ni Anthony Kimeto uh -huh. akaja shule wakati ule uh, mwalimu wangu wa Kiswahili anaitwa Richard Rono akani andikia script yangu kawaida tu ya primary nikasoma niposoma ile taarifa yule mbunge akanipatia shilingi 2000 ngarejea nayo nyumbani kwa wazazi ngapatia mamangu mamangu akasema tanua vyakula 
ikawa ndivyo hivyo talanta yangu darasa la nane uh, nikawa nimeimudu sana Kiswahili mm -hmm. uh, nikapita vizuri ijapokuwa kwa bahati mbaya sikuenda boarding school mimi kusema ukweli ah, okay. uh, kuanzia primary secondary hata uh, university bado nilikuwa day school moyo university kawaida cases yeah. tunasema uh, day school so wakati huo uh, darasa la nane siku siku uh, pata nafasi ya kuingia taasisi ya bweni uh, shule upili ya bweni kunra, uh, bweni kunrabi boarding a boarding school. Sasa wakati huo nikasoma, nikafika uh, shule upili, day school wakati ule shule ya kutwa. Uh, nikaoja shule ya kutwa uh, ni day school. Day school. Uh, sasa nikaja nikafanya nikaingia kwa hii club wanasema journalism club. Yeah. Kwa bahati mbaya nilikuwa peke yangu lakini nikaendeleza tu. <laughs> peke yako unaendeleza nini? Nilibuni tu kusoma taarifa ya habari kila kila wakati Ijumaa na Jumatatu. Okay. Uh, wakati watu wanakwenda foleni. So nikawa nasoma taarifa foleni ni line foleni ni q <laughs> q eh yes. sasa wakati huo okay. wamepanga wame line ya kuchukua uh, chakula assembly tu oh, watu nice. wa foleni wa kweli <laughs> tunasikiza <laughs> So, I'm sorry guys, this is hard. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, So wakati huo nasoma taarifa yule mwalimu mm -hmm. Vincent sijui yuko wapi lakini alikuwa anapenda sana kazi yangu ya Kiswahili akawa ananiandikia vile vile na nirekebisha. Uh -huh. Alikuwa mwalimu mkuu wakati huo nikafanya vizuri vile vile. Baada ya kukamilisha form 4 uh, nikaondoka shuleni nikakwenda shughuli zangu mwaka 2000 ni sitaje miaka mtanzo kwa sababu tutafika tu hapo sawa tutafika. <laughs> So baada ya hapo uh, nikatoka mwaka huo nika baada ya form 4 mm -hmm. nika mwaka uja uliofuata mm -hmm. nikaja nikatafuta nafasi katika taasisi ya uandishi wa habari KMC. Mm -hmm. uh, sikupata nilipata sikupata kabisa hiyo nafasi lakini nikarejea nikaenda kufunza primary school lugha ya Kiswahili. Ah, nikafunza lugha ya Kiswahili kwa kwa muda wa mwaka mmoja. Nikakusanya hela baada ya kukusanya hela nikarudi Eldoret. Nikaenda Eldoret nikajifunza masuala ya ususi na ulimbwende sasa katika taasisi moja na siamini kama ndakubaliwa kutaja hapa. Uh -huh. uh, baada ya kujifunza ususi uh, ilikuwa juma juma nafanya mtihani wangu wa mwisho kesho. Ikawa kaja tajiri moja akasema natafuta mwalimu wa taasisi ya, ya ususi ya dressing and beauty. Uh -huh. Uh, yule mwalimu uh, mwalimu wangu wakati huo anaitwa Evelyn Evelyn akanambia sikiza Terer kuna mtu anakutafuta niko na nickname hmm. naitwa Manox so mwalimu wangu alikuwa ananiita Manox <laughs> wakati huo akanambia unaitwa nikaenda reception uh, nikapatana na yule uh, tajiri akanambia kesho nikimaliza mtihani niende nianze kazi yangu ya kufunza taasisi ya ususi na ulimbwende Kisumu wakati huo so sijafanya hey, mtihani wangu sijafanya yes. chochote eh. nikaenda Kisumu nikafunza mwaka moja unusu lakini ndani ya moyo wangu nataka kuwa mtangazaji sana yeah. nikakusanya hela a vizuri sana nkarudi tena Eldoret wakati uh -huh. kulikuwa na taasisi moja ilikuwa inafunza utangazaji nikasoma kufika katikati ile taasisi ikafungwa ala mimi naona that is a good place to take a break <laughs> Yeah, suspicion. Did I do a suspicion? I'm going to break basi. 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 I'm going to break Welcome back to Chats for of course Emmanuel Terrer is still in the building quite an inspiring story that he has uh, but before we get back to that let's just take a look at your SMSs and your Facebook messages Distian Andy Diana says he will do my hair I can't wait to see you <laughs> while he's here you come out Unachukua bookings eh, terer <laughs> lakini nakubali. Kwa nini unasema I'm a lazy person when it comes to story ya hairdressing but maybe naweza change akinitengeza. <laughs> hey, okay, bure. Huku kuna watu wako na malaise. Mimi sema mingi zangu ni about a uh, life sport topic mm -hmm. today. Uh, someone says toxic parents are there. They compare you with other individuals and expect you to be perfect. Yet, it's not the case, but I have been over it. Another lady says, hey ladies, looking good as always. Well, think, 
well people think my mom is amazing but she's a horrible person but she doesn't really realize it because we don't tell her because we love her my mom is seriously manipulative and she exhausts me emotionally she used to insult me a lot when i was young and last year i lost my baby because she extremely stressed me out just just because my boyfriend was from a certain tribe it broke me because after cs and then lose the child to stay with the scar forever i don't have friends and to cut the long story short i always had friends who weren't good enough according to my mom so now i'm far from home and i hardly talk to anyone even through the phone I am a strong individual, so I'm um, kind of fine. No, darling, you are not fine. And we have a SMS line. I think it's double one, triple nine. Mm -hmm. That you can call and talk to someone. I mean, if you're feeling stressed and you need to talk to someone, just talk to someone. Don't just be quiet. I mean, there's so much feedback. We don't have that ti enough time to just talk about this. Me on an SMS from you guys. And, and it's really something that, that we should talk about. Toxicity. We should. We should. Yeah. Emmanuel Mutwambia yes. itabidi tumpe uh, one hour and madam mingi ma, ma, madam mingi ya kuchangia yes. but we are not done with your story yes. at what point did you get into the industry now you you're doing beauty but you still have the dream of becoming a journalist yes kusema kweli uh, wakati huo nilipo ile shule ilipofungwa mm. nikaenda University of Eldoret school fees ikaisha baada ya miezi mitatu nikaenda Kisi University school fees ikaisha bahati nzuri ngapata nafasi katika uh, chuo kikuu cha Moi mm. na wakati huo uh, ikawa sasa babangu alipoona kwamba uh, nimetafuta tafuta kweli akanambia hapa nda kushika mkono ah. babangu akanishika mkono taasisi chuo kikuu cha Moi Ali, nilipata eh by the way unasema hey, uh, si uh, university uh, yeah. nashukuru Mungu nilipata eh darasani uh, nikaja sasa uh, nitaje safari yangu nilikoenda ya kwanza mm -hmm. nikaingia running a citizen uh, citizen so that was your internship eh unatoka street na ukapata internship nilipata kabla sija sija ya fuzu Ndiyo. Oh uh, na nashukuru Mungu nina bahati sana mimi kwa sababu bado ulikuwa ni Kiswahili. Eh uh, nilikuwa nasoma tu wakati mm -hmm. huo sasa bahati nzuri nikaingia mm -hmm. Citizen na nikafanya tarajali internship. Uh, ah. sasa baada ya hapo internship tarajali. Wait. Poleni. Nika <laughs> internship nika bahati nzuri tena nilipotoka ukule nikaitwa na running a switch wakati huo mm -hmm. nikaja switch kidogo rafiki moja akaniona akanichukua tena kutoka switch nikaenda 47 Hivi mm -hmm. majuzi sasa ndo nikaitwa. Uh, Ukarudi na, tena na, nyumbani. nyumbani. Yeah. Kwele, uh. But what would you say is your most like kwa nini unatafutwa? Hey. Like what's that character that you possess that unajua hii ndio inatafutia kazi? Ah uh, Kiswahili. Kusema yeah. ukweli uh, Kiswahili nimekimanya sana. Right. Na, nasoma Kiswahili. Hiyo ni kikamba ama ni Kiswahili. Eh hey, no no nimekimanya. Nini nini mana? Nini nini? Terere wewe ni kama mtu wa <laughs> Umekimanya. <laughs> Najaribu kujifunza juzi nimesema hivyo Dana kaniona yule 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 mwelekezi. Ndio huyu basi kamera kamera Sasa ndo nika na, na mini Kiswahili. Kiswahili mm -hmm. nakisoma sana Kiswahili. Uh, sasa hivi kuna kitabu kimoja kimeandikwa na Ben R Mtobo kutoka Tanzania ameandika kitabu kimoja ki, riwaya inaitwa Tutarudi na Roho Zetu. Riwaya so, ni nini? Novel. 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 Uh, so do you read novels za Kiswahili tu pekee? Peke yake kwa sasa mimi ukikuja kwa library yangu ndogo imefikisha vitabu vingi tu vya Kiswahili utavipata uh, kule ndani ndo inanipatia nafasi na mwanya mkubwa na upenyu uh, kuingia katika utangazaji na vile vile uh, na mimi kukua mkalenjin alafu unajua Kiswahili ndo kwanza ulikijulia wapi Kiswahili kusema ah. kweli uko Eltoret hmm. mali unasema jacket yeah. unasema hizi vitu zote ulijuaje Kiswahili hivi ah, nikiwa nikirudi tena darasa la tano yule mwalimu ali, ali, aliona ah, alikuwa okay. naona sana naweza zungumza Kiswahili kizuri hmm. akanifunza vitu vi, vi, uh, vichache tu uh, kwa mfano neno p na 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 na, na, na herufi b tamka P sema B V V C F kwetu tunajua yes. tukiambiwa ah. mara moja V4 yeah. yeah. si tunasema V4 it's okay <laughs> tunakubali but then yule mwalimu alinifunza hijai nijue spelling hii nasema hivi na hivi ah, okay. tamka hivi ndio nikajua Kiswahili so Kiswahili chako kimekupa kipao mbele yeah. kwenye eh hey, mwekani no hello hakuna mtu ananiambia kitu kwa masikio niko tu peke yangu hapa this is me but 
being in the industry, we've seen a lot of movement mm -hmm. in the scene. We've seen a lot of people being um, uh, retrenched. We've seen them being deemed redundant. Mm -hmm. But bado uko, bado unapata. Mm -hmm. But looking at that, what would your advice be to all the people who are in school size? Mm -hmm. Wanasomea hii journalism, mm -hmm. yenye wanaona bado watu wanafutu, wanarugishwa manyumbani. <coughs> si watu hivi hivi, watu wamebobea kwenye ninino. Kwa sabu mimi, <laughs> ya, <laughs> asante sana. <laughs> uh, mimi mkristo, napenda mungu sana, maombe yangu miu wamba. Number one, lazima waanze kujua kuomba. Pili, ni kuomba usingi katika tasnia ya wandisho habari, industry, eh, kama unatafuta hela. Yeah. Kama umeambiwa kuomba utafana internship ya matarajali bila malipo kubali. Bwana. Tumepiga, mimi lipiga miaka mitatu bila, bila, bila malipo. Na sasa utaji sustain aje. Uh, sasa sijui mbinu yangu ilikuwa ususi. Sasa yule ah, ambaye. So find kwa. something. Eh, tafuta kitu ambayo ambacho kita kusaidia. Kwa mfano, mimi wakati ule uh, nikisoma chuki kuni likuwa na ngangania sana. Kila weekend ni kuna elfu tano kwa sabi ya kusuka. Uh, na piga kabisa jitu ambavo na, na ndio nilipe rent. Yeah. Na rent yetu ilikuwa elfu tano. So unapiga weekend moja, ah. Eh, sasa ukiwa shule kama unataka kuwa mtangazaji na unataka kabisa kuwa mtangazaji tafuta kitu kimoja ambacho kwacho kita kusaidia uh -huh. uwe mtu mbae eh, au fanani na mtu yote kama ni kiswaili soma kiswaili kama ni kingereza soma kingereza kama vile vile katika utawandishi andika tafauti sana na watu wale, wale wengine mbao wana, wana ingia katika industry ya wandishi tuko wengi kusema yeah. ukweli yeah. lakini tafuta ni nini ambacho uh, kina kuweka tafauti na wale wengine mm. uh, mm. na, na vile vile sasa hivi uh, covid 19 iko katika taifa la Kenya watu wengi wanataka kurudi shule wengine wamekufa moyo usife moyo mm. usife moyo kwa sababu ukijaribu kuona sisi tumetoka mm. si rahisi sana but corona ime affect watu wengi sana and mm. i've seen even journalists and artists and so many people especially in the artsy industry wewe ime ku affect kivipi uh, mara ya kwanza kusema kweli corona sasa hivi utasikiza kwamba kampuni nyingi zilianza kukata hela za wafanyakazi yeah, yeah. sasa ile lifestyle ambayo ulikuwa umeanza kuishi itabidi umeshikilia chini ukianza biashara sasa hivi hakuna mtu ataingia kufanya ununuzi kwa sababu anaogopa kwa sababu ya hela mm -hmm. no. hiyo ndo kitu kimoja ambacho naweza ambia wale watu ambao kama umepitia changamoto kama hii vumilia kidogo uh, itakusaidia mm. no. That's true. It's, it, na furai kusabu <laughs> with your story. Yes. With your story, there's a lot of re resilience. You mm -hmm. did not give up on your dream. Mm -hmm. Kila wakati ulikuwa unapata no. Mm -hmm. Unapata no, unapata no, but hope wacha mm -hmm. ndoto yako ife. Yes, yes. Na saizi atakuwa hivi vitu vyote vina vyo in the scene right now. Mm -hmm. um, bado umeji tia nguvu. Yes. Do you still sus kuku? Kusuka nyuele. Yes, ususi yes. uh, na ubelu libwende. Uh, libwende. Yes, yes. Okay. I do it, kusama ukweli, kama sana sana nafanya sasa hivi twist na uh, wanasema. Twist ile, dogo dogo zile. Uh, 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 ah, lakini. Kusama ukweli, wia fanya sana. Twist so, kwa zana penda, ikitokea lafu wa seme ni mimi. Sasa yu ndo, fura yangu, ni, sus, eh, ni fanyi mtu ususi, ni msuke vizuri. Oh, you gain pleasure from eh, seeing kusiki, other people alafu, smile. Alafu, unajua sisi wanaume wa tunawivu wakati tunasuka. Ah, ah. Sasa na kusuka taratibu, ni kijua kwa mba wile. Utarudi. Alafu unafanya intentional kwa mba yule boyfriend ama buwanako wakikuwana na sahau ni wewe kwanza. Usabu ya ure mba mba ah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Lakini hapo umesema boyfriend ni nini? Naomba ni plug yes, ni yes, question. Yes. Najwa tumepitana kwa corridor leo maramingi ukinyambia yes. mkali tufadhali. <laughs> Naomba uh, usinyulize hili swali ama ukinyuliza. Jimini. <laughs> Bipu, nimejaribu. Lakini mbona mnapenanga kusema jameni pengine. Mm. Pengine ukineleza. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> kuna mtu. Pale kuna mtu. Ami mdogo. Ah. Miaka ngapi? Tuweza na miaka. Mdogo. Miaka ngapi hivi? Kusama ukweli na misi taficha kwa sababu mungu menijalia. Miaka angu nimeingia. Nimeungeza mwaka. July 14th. Na shukuru mungu. Yeah. Kwa, Atu mini mungeza jana. Week. Mwaka oh. moja. So, so tunafata. July babies. Yes. yes. Mko zemo uh, zemo. So, so miaka ngapi? Mimi dunia inajua miaka yangu niliandika pale social media wewe kwa sasa simba angalia mwili wangu sura mdogo si Tuambie. simba Tuambie sema miaka <laughs> 20 
uh, miaka yangu si, situache kwa sasa unakitambulisha ninayo <laughs> lakini sasa nguvu kidogo tuitupilie mbali kwa sababu kuna mtu ambaye yuko mbali huko nje ana, anafikiria lakini mtu wanawake ndio tu sema ile sisi si, 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 uandishi wa habari kuna watu wanatufuata sana sasa inabiri kidogo tunaye sasa uko na footballers kama soka wasiwatanga tuamini hivyo kutusema kuna mtu basi usijali kama tutaituka hiyo umeepuka moja ingine lazima tujibu sijaoa Sijao. Lakini una una relationship kuna Are you mtu someone? entanglement CV. <laughs> Ujua na kuoa, bwana imagine alafu ni mruka. Anasema hataki kumtaja. <laughs> ama usimtu, usimtaje jina ama ni Wapama wengi. Ama ni wengi. Si wengi. Wangapi? Acha niseme si wengi. Sasa Uh, uh, si wengi ni wawili hey, lakini huyo mkale naye <laughs> kwanza poligamia ama monogamia <laughs> kwetu tunaamini kitu kimoja kama unamtazama naibu wa rais William Ruto yeah. anasema sana sisi hatutaji kuhusu kina dada a ah, ah, ni watoto ah, ni watoto wa kaunti yangu yes bibi moja sasa yeye hata akisema my wife So kama ume, wako, wako, kuna mtu ndio kujua kama tutaambia watu waingie pale kwa DM Terere, kama, wana, kama, kwa kama DM. kuna mtu anatafuta bado tunawinda ah, anawinda bado he's single soko. he's single Emmanuel <laughs> Terer pale kwenye Instagram live on <laughs> Switch TV chat sports <laughs> Terer <laughs> apart from women Mm. Listen to this. Mm. Apart from women, what are the challenges do you have you faced in, <laughs> in, in, in this industry? Oh, Beautician, <laughs> yani industry yenye huko. Kwa sababu sasa una deal na wanawake yes. sana. Eh kwanza mimi ufanya massage. Ah, massage. Ah, eh. <laughs> massage. Masu. Si massage. Eh? Oh, huyo ni kizungu. Huyo ni mtu anafanya kutomasa. Yes. Yeah. Sasa, Tomasa. skia. Kama unafanya massage. Yes. Mzee kama hujaokoka, wachana nayo kama hujaokoka waambie ndile kamera yako beautiful biblia napenda sana biblia <coughs> na nakwambia kitu kimoja kama unafanya massage na unapania kuingia katika industry ya uh, dressing na beauty na unataka kufanya massage okoka kwanza tafadhali okoka tumekumbana na hii mara nyingi kama kama hujaokoka <laughs> temptations Sidio. <laughs> Kuna moja ninge ningetamka moja lakini sasa ndio. Tamka tamka tuna dakika tu mbili na jojo. E, kama mtangazaji tamka. unaweza fix hapo tutumie. Yes. Kama 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 wewe ndio unafanya hiyo shughuli. Yes. Binti mabinti wanaangalia pia nguvu yako ya ya sura ambayo uh-huh. kwanza ya pili uh-huh. uh, jinsi ambavyo unafanya kazi yako venye unamguza uh, yes. sasa chunga sana usije ukaribu ndoa za watu na we mwenye ujiharibu entanglement hiyo uh, ndio italeta mala avoid kabisa kabisa italizwa una <laughs> <laughs> Emmanuel I love your honesty. Yeah, yeah I do. Kweli lazima utupilie mbali. Ni kweli. Kule ni kubaya. Yeah. Ni kubaya. Hapa ni Mungu umefika hapa. Yeah, It's Jesus. Lazima, lazima. <laughs> uh, kabla muda wangu umekaribia kuisha. Umekaribia kuisha tu dakika moja. Kabla niende. Yes. Kuna kitabu kimoja ama kwa Biblia yes. nataka kuambia. Tafadhali. Romans 12:12. Mm-hmm. The Bible Does says say? be patient in affliction, mm-hmm. joyful in hope and faithful in prayers. Kama unapitia changamoto sasa hivi uh, kuhusiana na swala hili la covid yeah. soma hiyo. And najua watu wengi James 42 Biblia inasema kitu kimoja you have not because you ask not. Mungu anataka u- u- uulize ndio upate. Hivyo tu. That is that, so that is your mantra. Like yes, that's yes, how lazima. you live your life. Oh, okay. oh, Share really your social media handles so, that. Ah, uh, yeah. katika Facebook yeah. ni nimetamba yeah. sana katika Facebook. Yes. Facebook ni Emmanuel Terer, uh, Twitter ni Terer Emmanuel uh, at Terer Emmanuel 21. Instagram ndaanza kuingia, sio? Uh, asante sana kwa kuwa shabiki wangu mtangaza uh, nimekuwa mtangazaji wako na naamini kwamba safari yangu ndefu ndefu ya utangazaji eh. usikose kunifuatilia oh. nitumia rafa kupitia facebook vile vile changia pakubwa sana kuhusiana na kazi yangu ya utangazaji na wakali engine Kiswahili tumeanza kusoma hapo sasa ndo hivyo tumetamatisha kipindi cha leo tunakushukuru sana mpenzi mtazamaji kwa kuungana nasi kuanzia 5:50 pm to 6:50 pm tunashukuru tupatane kesho <laughs> mida hii tu tupige tena kipindi watu wa 10:30 pm tunawaona kwaherini <laughs> namaste <laughs> <laughs>